I'm still impressed by how many green army men Andy's able to set up in less than five minutes. Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. Today I'm going to be talking about Pixar's 1999 adventure comedy sequel, Toy Story 2. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for a variety of movie-related content like reviews, rank lists, and trailer reactions. All of my reviews include a breakdown of the pros and cons, my rating, and some tailored film recommendations, so be sure to watch through to the end of this video for all of that extra content. Toy Story 2 stars the vocal talent of Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Joan Cusack, and Wayne Knight, and was once again directed by John Lasseter. It continues the tale of Woody and Buzz, voiced by Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, respectively. When Woody gets stolen by the owner of a toy shop, Buzz leads the rest of the toys on a mission to rescue him before Andy gets home from camp. We live in a world today where sequels, especially to animated movies, are pretty much a given. It seems like they make up half the movies that come out, and we frequently see sequel announcements before the first film even hits theaters. But it wasn't always like that. That's not to say we didn't have any animated sequels, but they were usually relegated to home video release. So even though the first Toy Story was a worldwide phenomenon when it was released, there really wasn't any expectation that we were actually going to get a sequel out of it. But Pixar surprised us by releasing that sequel as their third ever feature length film. As much as I like a lot of them, most animated sequels, not to mention a lot of live action ones, can't really justify their own existence. They rely on the nostalgia and connection that audiences have with the first film, so things like story, character development, and creativity take a backseat in favor of just pumping out more of the same. I'll admit that there are plenty of sequels like that that I genuinely enjoy because I liked the original so much, but I want to be clear, Toy Story 2 is not that kind of movie. Of course it's reminiscent of the first film. Woody, Buzz, and the whole Andy's Room gang are all back and just as memorable and fun as ever. Once again, we're dealing with a lost toy situation, and there are a lot of callbacks to the first film, but this movie is far more than just a soulless rehash of the things that made the original popular. In this sequel, the world is bigger, the stakes are higher, and the adventure is greater. Much like in the first film, Woody and Buzz are the key players, but their relationship dynamic is very different this time around. The events that take place in the first movie and the years that have gone by since have solidified their friendship and the sense of loyalty they have towards one another. And although the rest of Andy's toys were important in the first film, they really get their time to shine here right alongside Woody and Buzz. Well, most of them at least. Bo Peep, the newly introduced Mrs. Potato Head, and especially RC really take a backseat here. Even with six original toys already at the center of the story, somehow the filmmakers were able to introduce even more characters without it feeling like too busy a movie. Characters like Jesse and Bullseye became instant favorites and franchise mainstays, but even one-off characters like the Prospector, Utility Belt Buzz, Zerg, and Tour Guide Barbie are extremely memorable. The comedy and referential humor are greatly ramped up in this movie. We still get all of that fun dual-level humor thanks to the dialogue, but there are a lot of sight gags too, like the Butte Montana sticker, or the confused reaction of Andy's neighbors when they wake up to find the abandoned airport baggage truck parked in their front yard. In addition to the clever toy-related references, this film also references a number of other movies. But unlike other films that have done this, the pop culture references don't date the film, because they stick to classics that will always be relevant. Even as a kid, I got the Star Wars references, but I think one of my favorites that went over my head at the time is the James Bond reference with Mr. Potato Head pulling an odd job move. I also really love all the humorous misleading scenes throughout the film. Everything from the video game opening, to Buster's entrance, to even Woody's dream sequence. The story and characters are great, but as with the first movie, the themes and messages present in Toy Story 2 really elevate it beyond most animated films. The dilemma that we saw in the first film about identity and sense of belonging is even more urgent here. Woody's no longer jealously fixated on being Andy's favorite toy, but he is concerned about his usefulness, because he lives by the mantra that a toy's job is to bring joy to a child. So when faced with the reality that he's not indestructible, his sense of loyalty wavers. And so that doubt, 
again regarding his place in the world, makes him susceptible to the Roundup Gang when he discovers that he's an integral and beloved part of this group that he never knew existed. Another key theme of this film is growing up, and what happens when kids start to move on. When this sequel came out, I was 9 years old and still young enough to enjoy it as a kid, but I was also old enough to be touched by some of its themes. And Jessie's story with the whole when she loved me montage was the moment I realized this movie had more to it underneath its surface. I have to admit that it was the third time I ever cried in the theater, and even today as an adult who's watched this movie at least 50 times, I still tear up by the end of that montage every time. It's impossible not to be affected by Jesse's story, and it's obvious that it must have impacted a lot of other people too, because it seems to have driven many of the primary themes that were expanded upon in Toy Story 3. Now that the franchise is continuing, I still hold out hope for a reunion with an adult Emily or at least some sort of resolution for Jessie, because her character's never gotten over that fear of abandonment. Toy Story 2 more than justifies its existence. It provides us with the fun, comedic elements and characters that we loved from the first film, but also greatly expands upon the world and themes established in that original movie. Characters develop and evolve, making them feel even more real than they already did. The animation's greatly improved, it's full of even more quotable lines and memorable scenes, and the emotional core is somehow even more heartfelt than that of the original movie. Toy Story 2 is a sequel for which we should be eternally grateful. Alright, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pro number one is the expanded world. In the first movie, we get glimpses of the outside world with scenes at Pizza Planet, Dinoco, and on the road at the end, but the majority of the movie took place in either Andy's room or Sid's house. In this film, we really get the sense that this Toy Story universe is supposed to be set in the real world. We get Andy's room again, but we also have the city streets, Al's toy barn, Al's apartment, and probably most dramatically, the airport. The bigger the world around them gets, the higher the stakes get, and the more impressive the toys seem. The shot that always stands out to me is when the plane's turning the corner onto the runway and we see Tiny Bullseye running next to it. It just puts it all into perspective. In addition to the location expansions, this movie adds so many characters that have just become part of Toy Story. I mean, I grew up with this franchise and I saw the first movie in theaters, but it's honestly hard to remember a time before Jesse and Bullseye, before Mrs. Potato Head. To me, they're just as iconic and just as integral to Toy Story as any of the other characters. Pro number two is the thematic layering of this movie. As was the case with the original film, this movie's crafted in a way that's enjoyable to both kids and adults. It's full of important messages, but never forces them down your throat. The emotional impact of this movie is impressive, and it was really the first hint that Pixar was going to become THE studio for grounded, emotionally taxing, relatable stories. You rooted for Woody and the gang in the first film, but this movie made you realize just how emotionally invested you were in some animated toys, really setting the stage for Toy Story 3. The third pro has got to be the comedy. All of the Toy Story movies are funny, but I would say that Toy Story 2 is the most comedic of the franchise. The dialogue is chock full of witty lines, and a lot of the settings, like Al's Toy Barn, are perfect for a wide range of funny moments. Throw in all the referential and situational humor, like with Utility Belt Buzz, and the filmmaker's comedic intentions become clear. As with the first film, this movie's fun and funny on multiple levels, making it enjoyable for any age. As far as cons go, I don't have anything substantial to say about this movie. Once again, my few issues with the film are really just nitpicks. I guess if I had to choose something, it would be that there are too many antagonists in the story. It's hard to really consider it a con, because it actually works in the movie and doesn't detract from the story, but it was something that kind of stood out when I rewatched this. The first movie had one villain, and that was Sid. Here, we get another human antagonist in the form of Al, and he's really the catalyst for this plot, but we've also got not one, but two toy antagonists as well. One for the main plot, and one for the subplot. Since this is a spoiler-free review, I won't mention the name of the main plot villain, but if you've seen it, you know exactly who I'm talking about. 
But we also have the subplot toy villain, Buzz Lightyear's arch nemesis, Zerg. All of these antagonists serve different roles in the story, but it does almost seem like the filmmakers tried to cram a little too much into this movie. I'm gonna give Toy Story 2 four and a half out of five paws. This is a sequel that maintains the positive aspects of the original film and greatly expands on the world building and characters while upping both the comedy and emotion. I would recommend Toy Story 2 to fans of the first Toy Story film. It's a wonderful sequel that's more than just a rehash of the successful first film. Kids and adults will both like this movie and its themes of growing up and moving on will be especially touching to parents. If you liked Toy Story 2, the most obvious recommendation would be to watch the rest of the Toy Story franchise, especially Toy Story 3. That movie expands heavily on the concept of growing up and what that means for the toys. If the world building and tear jerking growing up themes were something you really enjoyed, check out Pixar's Inside Out, which explores those concepts as well. And if you liked the comedy and referential humor, try Shrek for another studio's take on the style. All right, a couple questions for you guys. Number one, have you seen Toy Story 2? If so, what'd you think of it? And number two, what was the first movie that made you realize films were more than just entertainment? Be sure to leave your answers in the comments below so we can get a discussion going. All right, so if you got some enjoyment insider information out of this review, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe while you're at it so you can see more videos like this. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies, the way life should be.